think you'll resolve it? Oh, I hope so. It's not doing anyone any good at the moment. Well, is there any chance they'll back down? The last I heard, they want us to back down or they're going to shut down. Oh, well, that's it then. They've always got that over you. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> What's come over you? Oh. Oh. Goodwill to all men and mothers. Well, why torture us then with that blasted record? That's all past the Christmas spirit, Dad. Oh, well. Thanks very much. The other two surfaced, Jack. Oh, Barry's still bouncing his heads off the ceiling. And our Karen's out of a skull. Oh, God. Damon, don't exaggerate. How is she? Oh, she's a bit bad, but she'll live. Till I get hold of her. That's what I call Christmas compassion. The greatest event of the church's calendar, she should have been at midnight mass with her family. Hey, if it's midnight mass, why is it at nine o'clock, Mum? Don't ask stupid questions, David. Hey, and when we're at the O'Briens this morning, no messing or I'll tell your father, right? You going to club, Dad? No, so I'm going to go into work. A union meeting. What? It's Christmas Day? I know, but it's very important for the other 364 days. The only day of the year you out with the dinner. Oh, our Karen's big enough. In her state. Hey, Ma. What? About me Prezi. You were warned, Damon. And after the state of your school report, nothing. Why so early? Have it. Always had to get up early Christmas morning. You've always had to do a lot of things you don't have to do now. It doesn't seem so long ago that the children were bursting into our bedroom at the crack of dawn. I remember having to put a model galleon together once for Gordon at half five in the morning. <laughs> Is he up yet? I don't think so. No need to rush when you've already got your present. At least he's here. We both agreed it was best for Lucy to have a break away. I don't know what we're going to do today. For the first Christmas we haven't entertained. We'll have a nice, relaxing day. We could go for a ride out, or we could be entertained by the box for a change. Haven't opened your present yet. I haven't received one yet. Christmas cags. Get out of here. Charming. Just go away and leave me alone. Peace and goodwill to all, remember? <sighs> Did you put those stupid records on? Yeah, Christmas spirits. And by the looks of it, you've had a bottle of it. <sighs> go away and let me try and sleep. Wait till my mum sees you. Why? Because you weren't at midnight mass, were you? How does she know? Because she stood at the back and piped everyone that came in. <sighs> Just go away. Anyway, I heard you talking to God on the great white telephone this morning. What are you talking about? You know, with your dad down the bog going, Oh, God! <laughs> hey, Carol. Bought me Prezi. Get out of here. Nobody's bought you nothing. Go away. 
six years ago. Paul, this really is beautiful. Thank you very much. Not quite up to the usual standard, but with as much feeling, I assure you. The little stones are jade, the hardest mineral known. It varies from white to green according to the iron content. Well, what about this trip out? Oh, I've got plenty of things to do here. Well, I've done the sprouts. The meal will cook itself anyway. What do you say, old son? Fancy a short drive round? Where do you think you're going to? Oh, I don't know, just a spin. Perhaps we could go to morning service. Oh, I don't think I'd enjoy that. I'd like to stay here and take my time preparing lunch. You and Gordon go, if you like. I don't believe in God, Mum. I think it's hypocritical just to go at Christmas. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. Well, those are these, old boy. Ah, this one's for you. And, Mum, this is for you. Oh, darling, thank you. That's very thoughtful. I've got a little extra present for you upstairs. Well, I couldn't have you getting away with just a boring old computer. Oh, nothing boring or old about that computer, wouldn't you agree, Gordon? Yes, sir. Everything you want to know about women. Mm. <laughs> Looks like an excellent read. Yes, Dad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Very droll, Gordon. Very droll. <laughs> She's suffering up there. <laughs> She's got to learn, hasn't she? Oh. This is a little bit like being under siege, isn't it? Why is? Well, management, no. They can starve us back to work if the strike goes on much longer. Oh, love. I hope it doesn't go on much longer. Well, so do I. Do you need any money? No, thanks. I'll manage. Where's Damon? Out. For half an hour, I said, and no longer. So when are you going to give it to him? Not today. He's got to learn. I mean what I say. I've seen it at the O'Brien's. Good luck, love. Tell my kid. See ya. Hello, love. You'll never guess who's just rolled up outside. Who? The Broadbents. But we haven't seen them for months. I... Oh, what are they doing here? Oh, I suppose we'll have to ask them in. Oh, Paul, to see to the drinks, will you? And... Gordon, go and get the glasses and see if there are any crisps, too. I wonder if we've got any nuts. <sighs> Stab, how are you? <laughs> Julia, what a wonderful surprise. Just on our way to see Mary and her brood. I thought we'd uh, pop over with some Christmas goodies for the Collins. Aye, thank you. <laughs> Annabelle. You look wonderful. Stan. Oh, Julia. Oh, it's marvellous to see you both. Now, we won't stay long and disturb your plans. I'm sure you must be very busy, as always. Well, uh, not exactly. Oh, Paul will fix you some drinks. Where did you say you lived? I didn't. But it's Brookside. Never heard of it. That's because it's over the water, Jonathan. Oh. The vast expanse. And you're staying at a Maid Marian's for Christmas? Yes. What do you do over the water in Brookside? I study for my O-levels. And what do you do? I'm uh, an examiner for the O-level Joint Matriculation Board. You're not old enough. Quite right. How old are you? Sixteen. When I was 16, it was uh, three years ago. And what do you really do? Now you're grown up, I mean. I don't really do anything. But I'm employed by a computer firm as a trainee operator. My brother's into computers. Hmm. Which firm's he with? He's only 14. But he's got his own mini-computer. I have my own mini-computer company. Honestly? Well, to be absolutely correct, my father owns the company and I'm the Anne's son. Where were your parents last night? Malta, Valletta. 
Are there any others like you? Any brothers or sisters? Probably, but I haven't met them. My father's always had a car. <laughs> Surprising how quickly we've adapted. All of us except Lucy. Oh, yes. She isn't taking it very well, is she? Uh, staying with the Blakes, I hear. Uh, they were at the uh, golf club yesterday. You should come over. Everybody's asking after you. Well, we've been so busy organising ourselves here. But we will come over in the new year. Yes, you should. That's your new car out there? Oh, no, actually, it's mine. <laughs> Would you like to come and see it, Paul? Yes, I'd love to. I'm glad you can't see your old house. It's becoming a bit of a wilderness, I'm afraid. Oh, well... Annabelle, how is Paul really coping with his enforced leisure? Well, he puts up a brave front, but... I've kept my ears open. But the, mar the market's empty at the moment. It's the humiliation he can't take. None of it was his fault. Well, I know that, but he can't accept it. Signing on at the Labour Exchange. Endless letters of rejection. And no interviews. Wish there was something I could do. That's just the point. There isn't anything anybody can do. Come on, Damon. And stop sulking. I said I'd see the lads. I can see them this afternoon. It's a long walk for you, though, ma'am. And you often to do the cooking and all. Hmm. I'm sure I'll manage, Damon. Anyway, Dad's probably going to pick us up later. When's he going to go back to work? Well, I hope it's soon. Hmm, but there's a lot praying for that at Mass last night. Mm. Hey, why do they have midnight Mass at 9 o'clock? Because when we used to have it at 12 o'clock, you used to get a lot of drunks wandering in. Oh, like our Karen. Now, listen, you. Don't you mention anything about our Karen at the O'Briens. And no bragging about our Barry's accident, either. So what do you reckon? Room for further negotiation? I reckon you should tell them where to stuff it. I think they're being straight with us, Jonah. We'll only lose ground if we're not careful. But they're offering us nothing at all. Consolidation of bonuses and 200 jobs down the road. Or shut the place down. They wouldn't do it. They might have to. Look what happened at Brock's Bond. That was different. That was cheap imports. From their own bloody factory in Hong Kong or wherever it is. Same rules, Jonah. They're all controlled from London. They've got no loyalty to you or this area. Their only loyalty is to their balance sheet. And if this place isn't balancing their books for them, well, they look for a way of helping you to do it. By saving 200 annual bloody wage bills. That's one way of doing it, yes. And a Merry Christmas to you, too. Is that it, then? Is that what we're saying? We have to be realistic. You'll have to recommend it to the lads. I think we should recommend that they accept what the management are offering. We could have settled this six weeks ago now. It's not an offer. It's an insult. You ready for us? Aye, as ready as we'll ever be. So this is the best you're prepared to do, is it, Alan? It's all I can do, George. This is rough, this is. And you know it. You're giving us an out. I'm giving you a future. And you're giving me one. I'm just as reliant on this settlement for my job as well. Remember, I'm the same distance from the dole queue as you. That's hardly an argument, is it, Alan? After all, 200 of your labour force are going to be out of a job in the new year. This hasn't been worth sacrificing Christmas Day for. I'm sure they'll keep the pudding warm for you. Well? The committee will put it to the members, but we can't say which way it will go. Well, a recommendation from you gentlemen would help. You're asking us to ask them to vote themselves down the road. I'm afraid so. But as I've said all along, I would expect a large proportion of the 200 jobs lost would be volunteers for redundancy and early retirement. All right. We'll call a meeting as soon as possible and we'll let you know. Well, thanks for coming, all of you. Hey, Merry Christmas. 
Well, I'm going for a pint or something. Come here, Bobby. It's over. Don't look like that. It was me who wanted to black the scabs, remember? Sean and I know the score, lad. Or at least I should do, being around long enough. We could have put this to the lads four weeks ago. Here we are, lads. This is management's final offer. Consolidation of bonuses and 200 redundancies. What did you think he did unto us? He'd have kicked our knackers off and nailed them to the bloody canteen notice board. And now what? They've lost that four weeks' money, and we're still in the same position. We've sold them out. Because this has been a game journey, and we've been forced to play. The prince kissed you and you woke at last, eh? Oh, I feel awful. A couple of raw eggs and worcester sauce, that'll get you back on your feet. Barry, please, I've had enough of soft lad this morning. How come you're up anyway? It's Christmas, isn't it? Don't expect me to lie in bed all day, do you? What were you drinking last night? Cider till it ran out. And all sorts, I suppose. See that over there? Yeah. Pass it here, will What did your last slave die of? Injuries received from answering back. I'll pass it here. I might as well keep all the rights for you anyway. Oh, thanks, Barry. I've got yours upstairs. Oh, that's great. Thanks. Must have set you back a few bob then. Yeah, don't drink it all at once. Anyway, it's not very nice to ask how much presents cost. Or where they came from. How's it you guess, anyway? Good job I got it early. God knows how much this thing's costing me. And don't ask. You're not going up to phone then? How do you mean? See, um, Pauline or whatever her name is who lives there. Sally. Now, what Alpha is a doctor, isn't he? And you don't want any questions asking? I've got them two or three weeks or something. God, where is everyone? It's not like Christmas, is it? Ah, oh, Damon and me mum have gone over to the O'Briens. And me half fella's down at the factory as usual. Another meeting. It's like a morgue, this place. It's not like the Alder State. Looks like you've got a visitor. Yeah. He's got some bottle coming here to stay your in. Sam, not yet. Ow, sign language through the window. Uh, happy Christmas, Mr. Grant. It's Karen then. Why is that for Karen? Yeah. Well, it's a pity you weren't so thoughtful last night, isn't it? Do you really want me to have a happy Christmas? Yeah. Well, you see that thing? You make sure that our Karen never sets eyes on it again. Understood? Yeah, all right. Well, I hope so. What's this? The resurrection. How'd it go? Bloody awful. So what is the settlement then? Yeah. Do you reckon you'll all be back after Christmas? Aye. And there'll be such a mad scramble by the lads to work all sorts of overtime, you know, to make up for the money they lost while we were out on strike. Management, management's not the whip hand right away. Mm -hmm. Then they'll say who works, when and what. Thank you, love. Well, at least it seems to be over. Come on, love, sit down. Your father will say grace. <laughs> oh. It's only once a year. Saved by the bell. Excuse me. We had a good look round the back, and I'm sure there's nobody in there. There must be a fault on it, then, mustn't there? 
Some of them are very sensitive, you know. The blasted wind can set them off. Or a cat. Aye. Yeah. Annabelle tells me they're probably away until after the new year. Do you think we should call the police? They wouldn't be able to do anything, would they? They'd have to get the key off Huntington or whatever his name is. Oh, this is ridiculous. We can't have a racket like that for days. I'm sure there's some sort of law against this. Oh, I wouldn't know about that. I think we should protest in the strongest terms when he returns. Aye. It's not his fault, though, is it? Good. What are you doing? Yeah. It's all right, Father. Go on, you can't go up there. It'll be all right. Gordon, be careful. Now, now, take it easy, old son. Why did I get a shot off that thing? Well done, Ted. Nice one. Thank goodness for that. It was an awful noise, wasn't it? Hey, how'd you do that, mate? We have one at school. It's always going wrong. Yeah, mate. <laughs> <laughs> At least something's made you laugh. 